Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator. Today I'm excited to show you one of my favorite add-on services here, and that is SiteLock. There are so many different things to think about when it comes to web hosting, and cybersecurity is by far one of the most important ones. SiteLock services can actively help protect you from these threats, and I'm really happy to show it to you today. As always, if you like the content that we're making, give it a like on YouTube, let us know in the comments below what you think, and subscribe if you want to see more. But if you're ready to go, let's get started. We'll kick things off today in our customer portal. Before we get into the fun stuff with SiteLock, I want to show you how to access it. Here in the dashboard section, you can see that each package that has it available has a SiteLock security icon here, and it's also down here in our recommended apps section. Now, it's important to note that you can get SiteLock security on your cloud, shared hosting, and it comes free on your managed WordPress account as well. You can also find it over here in the marketplace section, and if you scroll up, you can click on the SiteLock security icon next to your plan to either purchase it or access it if you've already purchased it. Before diving into what SiteLock does and how to access it, I want to show you some more information on the plans that we offer. I've got a great article here that I'll link in the description below. We have three different offerings for SiteLock here at HostGator. We have Essentials, Prevent, and Prevent Plus plans. Each of these plans is going to scan your website from malware. If it finds it, it's going to automatically flag it, let you know, and remove it automatically as well. By default, after purchase, SiteLock is going to scan one of your websites, but you can always add on more if you want to. You can note here that no matter how many pages you have, SiteLock will automatically scan those pages as well. So you've, it doesn't matter if you have one or 100, it's going to scan all of them for malware. You can note here too that it comes with the Content Delivery Network, or CDN. What this means is that it'll distribute your content across the web from different locations and can essentially speed up your site. All of the plans here have automatic malware removal, a scan report, monitoring for blacklist, giving you the security seal, automated bot attacks, and image optimization. But if you go with the Prevent or the Prevent Plus, you get some other options in there as well, like database scanning, DDoS protection, PCI compliance, and application patching as well. Scrolling down just a little bit further, you can see the SiteLock pricing, and lower in the article goes into detail about every single feature that we have, but I want to show you a few things in SiteLock, so let's head back to our customer portal. On my shared business plan for Beehive Pit, I've already purchased SiteLock Security. If you haven't purchased it yet, you can click here. It'll show you the options that we just went over, but if you've already purchased it, this is going to take you directly to your SiteLock portal. Here in the SiteLock portal, I can see that I've got the Prevent Plus plan on my beehive-from-redpit.com website. If I want to toggle the CDN or firewall on and off, I can do that here. And if I want to add protection to any of my other sites, I could do that here as well. Now, I generally only care about my primary domain, so I'm going to leave it just as it is for now. If I want to open up the settings, I can click this little shield icon here. Welcome to the SiteLock dashboard in your security center. When you first log into SiteLock, you may see that some of these icons here have exclamation points in them. If they do, that means there's a few things you might need to do to set up that specific action. For instance, for the malware scan, it's going to walk you through the steps to make sure it has a connection to your website. It's fairly simple and it does a lot of it automatically, but it's always good to note, if you see exclamation points, there's probably some action that you need to take. Let's go through the top menu bar and then I'll walk you through some of the key points here. Up at the top, this gives you the option to toggle the menu, so if you don't want to see the words, you can click that. Right here, you can actually deploy the SiteLock trust seal, which means it's a nice little icon on your website to say that this site is protected by SiteLock. Over here is your notification center. If you click this, you'll see all the security notices on your website. And on the far right here, you can download the full security summary report directly to your computer. I'll talk with the left-hand menu back and we'll go through a few of those as well. Here we are on the dashboard, which is the main page. If you click sites, you'll see all the sites that are currently protected by SiteLock. Down a little bit further, you can click on the user section. This shows you all the folks who have access to your SiteLock dashboard. If you'd like to add someone, you can click the plus user sign here. Next, we'll go to settings. We have a lot of different options here, but you can set up two-factor authentication, different email subscription and notification settings, and also check out some of your scan, download, and smart settings as well too. We'll go through some of those in the main dashboard, but you can always check out these actions here. Next is our account section. This will be where you list off your personal contact or company information. Let's head back to the dashboard and I'll show you a few cool features. The first section you'll see here is domain verification. This is generally performed automatically as soon as you sign up for the account if your DNS is pointed. As you can see here, it's in good standing, so I'm good with that. The next thing I want to show you is the malware scan, so we'll click on here. You'll note here that it's scanning by date. It tells you exactly how many pages it's scanned, how many links it's checked, and the amount of malware that it's found or malicious links that it's found. You'll see the status bar here, and if there's any malware showing, it'll give you some more important details. Up here at the top, you can actually trigger a scan now if you like. You can always download the report to a CSV here if you'd like to as well. Heading back to the dashboard, the next thing that we'll look at is our risk score. Basically, this means how risky your site is in terms of malicious content. See that I have a low score, so I'm good there. Let's move on to the smart section. I'll click here. Smart scan is one of the greatest features because it's going to consistently scan your site and let you know how many files were added, modified, deleted, and it's also going to tell you if malware was found or cleaned. As you can see here, it's going by date. Here's the amount of files that were scanned. I had some new files added that day. I actually installed WordPress. Two different files were modified, nine were deleted, and luckily no malware was found, so they didn't need to clean anything. If there is malware found on your site, you'll have the option to review it here, and of course you can see the status bar here as well. 
scrolling down just a little bit further, we can see that we have a smart database option here as well. Now this comes with the upper plans, but for me, this is gonna be a malware scanning specifically on my database. You can see the date that it was scanned, the platform that it's on, and again, malware if it was found and if it was fixed, and the same thing with spam links if they were found or fixed as well, and spam code there as well too. All these options will give you the chance to trigger a new scan now if you'd like to, and of course you can optimize some settings here too. The next option here is the smart patch. This is really good if you have a variety of content management systems. Occasionally there could be a security exploit or a vulnerability for that content management system. Sidelock is gonna automatically attempt to patch that, revert it, or note that it's vulnerable here for you as well. Luckily, I don't have any issues on my CMS right now, so none of these are showing as vulnerable. Scrolling down just a little bit further, we can see that we have a spam scan and an SSL scan in here as well. Let's check out the spam scan. In this section, Sidelock is gonna automatically scan known email blacklist to make sure that your domain is not included. This is really important because if you're listed on an email blacklist, your emails may not reach their intended recipient. Once again, you can trigger an automatic scan up here. Let's head back to the dashboard. Scrolling down just a bit further, we'll check out the SSL scan here as well. This is going to make sure that your HTTPS is being forced and that your SSL is in good standing. It's important to note here that Psylock is not essentially going to force your site to HTTPS. This is something I've done on my content management system before, but it's always good to have a third party to check and make sure your SSL is functioning as intended. We'll head back one more time. Scrolling back down to the bottom, we'll check out the vulnerability scan. This section here will check to make sure you're not vulnerable to any SQL injection or XSS attacks. Let's head back to the dashboard and we'll cover a few more things. Now that we've called out a lot of the things that SiteLock can do, I want to make sure we note a few of the things that it won't do. SiteLock is never going to update your content management system. It won't update your PHP, your plugins, or your theme, so it's always good to know that. Another good thing to consider is to make sure that your SSL and your CDN work perfectly together. If you have an existing SSL certificate on your domain, you're going to need to add that certificate information to SiteLock just to make sure that the CDN works correctly. We have a great help article that I'll link in the description below. It'll show you exactly how to add the SSL information to your CDN. As always, our support's on staff 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. We're always here to help. And that about wraps it up for SiteLock. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you stay secure online. As always, if you like the content that we're making, give it a like on YouTube. Let us know what you think in the comments below and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, y'all.